Hey guys, Blender Beetle here with a surprise. You probably cannot tell from what you're looking at now, but this is a new computer. So when I go like this, it looks fine. Which means that videos can begin again. I'm still working out what I'm going to do, but... I thought that to celebrate, I would do an animation and an, uh, uh, what are they, what did I used to call those, anti-blog? An anti-blog for the first time in forever. So, now I gotta figure out what to, <laughs> what to animate. So, I think I'm gonna do a kitty, because I've been drawing a lot of cats recently, and they're just adorable. So, kind of gotta think of what I wanna, what I want this cat to be doing. Let's just do a few warm-up sketches while we think about this. So, th what happened basically is, about a week ago, my computer died again. It's not so much that it died. It still worked, but it was just getting harder and harder to get any kind of video that I could actually use in the future. Um, so, thankfully, in the uh, Inchin, Inchin uh, marketplace, like there's this uh, kind of... Facebook group for people who are trying to get rid of stuff. It's especially for expats when they need to move out of country to so they can get rid of their stuff before they leave the country. So in that group, there was someone who was trying to sell their computer for the lovely low price of 350 so, since my dad is awesome and family needed a new computer anyway, we got it. I, I, it's not my computer, it's the family computer, and so I have to do videos in the living room, which also means that I'm not exactly sure what's going to be made, and it might be that I'm up until 2 a.m. doing videos and sleep in until who knows when. So, in any case, I'm really excited because it's now possible. This thing is a beast with, I mean, you wouldn't say, you wouldn't think 500 gigabytes of space and a 8 gigabytes of RAM and whatever the graphic card is, I don't even know, would, would really be that big a deal, but I am currently running YouTube for the background noise. If I'm quiet for a sec, maybe you can hear it. That, 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 that little bit of a little bit of a music in the background is no copyright sounds on YouTube. That is a terrible hand. <laughs> oh my gosh. And I am also currently running my Cosair uh, headphones with a mic. And I am also currently running Krita. And I'm recording and everything is working so smoothly. This guy is an ape with those arms. So that means that videos can happen, which has basically been what I've been trying to do for months. I have realized recently that talking constantly in these things really hurts your throat. So I might, I might have some sections in this where I just kind of turn up the music a little bit and fade out for a while, but not exactly sure yet. And I'm planning on uploading this on YouTube full length. And, I mean, if it comes out great, maybe I'll do a speed paint as well for those of us who don't have time to sit through two hours of video. Me, myself included. But, we are going to be back in this. I have tried out OpenTunes, and unfortunately it is still having problems. So, if it is a specific question that you guys have, I can go tinker with it and see if I can fix it. But... I cannot go do regular tutorials, so we're still on, still on speed paints, but considering I have Krita back, it means I can get back into that animation that I so love, which I haven't been able to do in months, seriously, and these, these are looking really bad, so we're just going to pretend those never happened. On my other computer, Krita did not even open, and when it did, it just went ahead and crashed on me anyway. So let's let's do a kitty, because I have been drawing a lot, and I mean a lot, of cats recently. Um, if you've been watching my Instagram, you probably know that I'm doing the uh, 
Redbubble merchandise stuff, and I have been drawing cats out the wazoo. I actually haven't posted a lot on my Instagram of the cats, mainly because I am in the middle of a series right now and it's not finished. And I don't really want to post it until it's in the computer, like in on Redbubble, because it if you post it before then, then you kind of have to repost it when it's actually on Redbubble, and it just feels like I'm. I'm spamming you guys with posts, so. Got a little. Those cute little eye thingies. Those eye thingies I've actually only saw, seen on dogs when it comes to these, but I thought they looked so cute. So I just had to incorporate that into my kitties. And funny thing enough, my kitties don't have whiskers. I think this is because I am against how difficult whiskers are and so to protest none of my cats have whiskers I'm just gonna do a straight sit in this this way this is just the I don't know how to draw cats version of a cat I, I normally I normally have some some reference up on the screen or something but I got right into it and didn't really want to spend the time to go find a picture so this is my kitty. Give a little bit of scruff there. Key. Now I'm trying to think what could he be doing? Like is it a is it an expression change? I really like how he's coming out. So, I may draw him and make him like a full drawing for Redbubble, but for the purpose of this video, what shall we do? I really should stream this, then maybe those questions would actually get answers. Mm. Wow, Kuda did something new. Odd. Okay, well, onion skin needs to be on, darling. So... There we go. Oh, the beauty of onion skin. I haven't had that in a while either. I literally like got so desperate for onion skin the other day that I made myself a light box out of cardboard. Yeah, it was not very good. So, maybe we could have him walk out? Nah, that's boring. Let's just have him blink for now. <laughs> Let's just do the easy thing and have him blink. This is just a warm up here, not not the actual animation. We we should we should probably move those things down a little bit. Let's just they follow the eye because those are kind of his eyebrows. I'm just gonna leave that and. Bring the next one. I don't need two of them, darlings. Actually, I kind of do. And there, his eye is closed in the most simple fashion. Just a little bit more down with those round thingies. You know, I say round things, and all I can think is Doctor Who. Anybody else get that reference? I mean, it's a fairly popular show, so probably, but... I, and, you know, I should probably check every now and then just to make sure everything's fine, but if you notice, it is all 60 frames per second, and I'm still not even up to 10% 10, 10 of the CPU. It was at 90 on my other computer. Like, it was not good. So, I think what we're going to do is we're gonna make a new layer here. Show in timeline. Level three, show in timeline. And we're gonna move these two up to him. And that way, what we can do is also move this guy. Move him over one so that we can copy this guy this is a tip for lazy people 
Now here, we want to erase everything but the eyes. So, got this lovely eraser here. We're going to turn off this so I can actually see what I'm doing here. It's just a way to separate the two. I could probably have selected and erased that way, but I'm still trying to convince myself that select is okay, because in, in the last computer, basically, select was a bad idea. It made the thing crash. And like that. And I think we're going to have to actually go in and fix, like, I think these ones. Yes, you don't have that lovely little line there. So... And let's go ahead and see how that looks. Let's turn off onion skin. Apparently O does not turn off onion skin. It changes the opacity. Good to know. I will have to fix my keyboard shortcuts later. Let's just go ahead and duplicate this guy. There we go. Now turn that down to 12 frames a second. And move these guys over here for a slower blink. Eek! And we're gonna go ahead and pick a, say, 27, I think, is a good place to end. That's just a regular blink. Okay, good warm-up. What else can we do now with this guy? I think this guy's not posed well for a movement piece, because he's just kind of standing there. He's all blocky. So we're going to actually save this before we go and lose everything. Let's just make a folder on my desktop here. Cats! Uh, no, no exclamation points, please. No exclamation points. But I want a heart. Too well. Oh well. Cats are my favorite. Um, let's just say kitty. So let's just go ahead and delete these two and think of the next one. So if we had like this box. I am a huge fan of boxes. Like if you make a box it's a lot easier to actually animate afterwards. So kind of gives you an idea of 3D space. Kind of lets you think a little bit more three dimensional even though that's a terrible box. <laughs> let's just go ahead and Let's, let's mess with this. So, if we just turn that up and turn the opacity down so we can get rid of these, some of these lines in the background just a little bit. That's the wrong one. Just want those to be si slightly visible so that I still have some reference as to where the box goes. Now let's go back to this and... Oh, yeah. Forgot, you kind of got to get off it for it to reset to its original settings. Okay, now we got our box. And we're just going to kind of leave that box there. Now, let's think, what do we want our kitty to do? Is he laying on the box? If he's laying on the box, you got like this. And he's got kind of like, cats have that really cool wavy shape. From what I've been able to tell. And I think the problem right now with that is you should not be able to tell that much of the cat's feet. I'm just going to put that little tail over there.
It'll... You cannot hear the music at all. Is that just me? I know I've got a really, really loud fan on right now. Maybe, maybe it's just me. Oh, there's the music. Well, that is a terrible cat, but actually he's adorable. Like I wish, I wish, wish terrible and adorable were complete opposites, so I didn't have to worry about him being both. Okay, we're just gonna go ahead and erase that. How long have we been recording? Okay, only about 16 minutes. I'm gonna try and keep this thing under like two hours because we have this thing in my house where we're trying to keep posted videos or streams under two hours a person so that we don't have to worry about maybe going over our our limit. We don't know if we have a limit because somebody else is paying for the internet. So we're just kind of being careful about it. I mean, I'm not sure if someone else is paying for the internet or if we are, but it doesn't help that all the bills come in Korean. So, definitely doesn't help, no. I've missed this so much. I would be doing streaming right now, but I figured for the first one, let's just go ahead and record. Because it's a, it's a lot harder it, to get it on YouTube if I'm streaming, because then I have to wait a whole day, and then I also have to edit around and mess with stuff so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna record this one and next time we're going to stream and then place on YouTube probably two days later because I want to be able to give that whole two hour daily two hour limit a chance to reset so also if I'm doing speed paints I definitely need to wait a couple of days because stuff We got our cute little kitty in here. I'm, I'm still not looking at any reference, which is bad of me. Do not follow my example. Um, I'm just kind of messing with a generic cat. And I like how he looks. So what we're going to do is we're going to create this new one. Still exists, right? Ah! Oh, he turned him off. Okay. We're good. Let's turn his... There we go. If I put his face up here, can we just then do a sitting cat, do you think? She says to no one in particular because her audience is not with her at the very moment. I, I need to get used to talking. I guess I always talk to you guys as if you're right here in the room with me. Well, feel free to answer in the comments if you think any of these ramblings make no sense. Let's go ahead and... Just erase with my eraser. Just keep the tail the same way for this time. I kind of have this thing where like I do a line and this smile and that's my cat's mouth because I like cartoony cats not so much realistic cats realistic cats are hard who knows maybe I'll learn it later and right now he looks like he's got quite a belly because of that thing right there Okay, let's let's just go ahead and turn the 
onion skin off and flip back and forth between that. Ooh. Yes. The head is a little small on this top one. So let's go ahead and do the dreaded thing. Let's let's go ahead and save first. I'm having to remember where all my buttons are because I've been on Mac for the last two months or something. So let's just zoom him up a little bit. Enter. Mm. All. There we go. Control Shift All is how you get that one off. There we go. Now I think I'm gonna have his dra head drag a little bit on the way up. So let's go ahead and pull this guy here and turn on my onion skin. And I'm gonna have his head drag, so it's gonna be more leaning towards this bottom one here. I'm gonna have his eyes closed on the way up too. Maybe his ears will drag a little bit as well. That is still too small. Like, oopsie. I don't know why I keep making him so small. Okay. Now I might have made him too big. Let's see how this works out. So, now that my computer works, would love to hear what you guys would like to see in terms of art. Like if you'd like to see any specific speed paints, if you have requests, I can't guarantee I'll get to all of them because I do still have to do some work work. Like I have to work on Redbubble and I also, you know, sometimes I just don't like a request. But if you have some requests for something you'd like to see or some ideas that you think would make great videos or some topics that you'd like me to talk about, I have to remember what I actually said on previous videos and what was just a recording of my vain attempts to, or my terrible attempts to actually make something worth uploading. So I know I, I know in one of my failed attempts I asked you guys to give me suggestions on topics to talk about because I don't actually know, like I'm not very vloggy I don't know what people actually want to hear about so if you have anything you're curious about feel free to let me know in the comments if you just like to hear me ramble maybe give me a topic that I get really pissed about and it's really fast for me to start rambling okay now the question is do we want to do we want to have his body going quicker quicker I think we're gonna do that we're gonna Let's, let's. Oh, it's on up and down right now. I'm going to have to fix that setting. Okay. Right now it looks bad because it's going straight from down to up. So we need one frame where it's arriving in its down position, I'd say. So we're going to go ahead and stick a frame in the middle here. I really should do a timing chart. I have not yet convinced myself that timing charts are something that are necessary so this is what I make in the meantime let's go ahead and put that there just put his ears down and we're just gonna have his all of his body has arrived at this point it is just his head catching up and in the cleanup I'll do a much better sketch of that body but which is, this is just to kind of mess with things. And there it goes with the opacity again. Um, I need to toggle onion skin. Yeah, there we go. That's a little better. Still timing wise, I'm going to throw another one in between these two. And as I said before I am recording in the living room so if you hear doors or people talking that's kind of unavoidable so let's just have, have kind of like a half open here he's he's coming up and I actually want to go ahead and get his eyes in here like I had his eyes but he looked kind of empty and that's I think going to help
There we go. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to also have one more... I think I'm going to have over here, see how his eyes and, and ears arrive at the same time. I don't like that, so we're just going to throw in another frame here. And we're going to pretty much copy the last frame here. But I'm going to give the ears a little bit more drag. I don't know if I... Yeah, I was on default for that. Have his ears there and give it one more one more frame to settle. Let's try that. I didn't realize I hadn't done body on that one. Oopsie daisies. Turn the onions can back off and mess with it again. Yeah, I think I think I'm liking that. I've got a vanishing tail there. I see this all the time, like when you're watching a pencil test, but that's generally from people who know what they're doing, not just that they forgot to draw it in. So I always go and fill it in just in just at least as a placeholder. So here we got this. Let's go ahead and turn it down to six frames and we can go ahead and watch it play and see what happens. I think... Honestly, I'm going to try pulling this frame out and see what happens, because I don't think I like that frame, so. No, that's not right. Maybe I mess around a lot instead of just actually knowing what I'm doing. Because who actually knows what they're doing? I mean, come on. Oopsie, that's not what I wanted. Let's go ahead and... There you go. He's back. We're going to make a new f new layer here. Because I tend to have at least one layer that is for... One layer that is for unwanted frames. So I can just drag them out. Reframe the other ones. And then I don't have to worry about it. He needs to be turned off. Okay, let's try that one. That's better. It was that one that was just slowing it down too much. Let's see how it looks at six frames. That is too fast. Three? Okay. We're just gonna straight in between this and see how it looks. Turn the onion skin back on, huh? Mm. And I did something over here that I was trying with like picking the foot up and readjusting. 
And I'm not sure if I'm going to continue with that or if I'm just going to kind of put it down here. I don't like that the paws are slipping inside on their own, which is why I had that. But in either case, I think this is, this is just a straight up paw on the ground here. And this is where, honestly, where this one would normally come in. And actually, I might have that up here just so that I can kind of get an idea, but I don't want it that easy to see. Because I like that, but I think it needs to drag a little bit more down here. Just to give it more of a feeling of weight. Like, it, it arrives really suddenly, and that's part of the problem. Keep on with the flappy ears. Can put that in the new position and let's pick up this paw. Uh. And so, yeah, <laughs> just got startled. My mom came out of the room, so. Um, choo -choo 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 -choo. yep, okay, I like that. Oh, looks like my family got home. Sometimes. Okay, 30 minutes in, so we're just going to keep on going. If you can hear them in the background, I apologize. Got the eyes here, the little circle thingies, which help with position of eyebrows, because cats totally have eyebrows. I mean, they t I mean, they do have, like, eye ridges, sort of. Like, I think of eye ridges, and I think of the dragons, but... Cats have kind of an, a ridge just like any other animal. how that turns out. This is, again, completely doing the last two. I'm just slowing down that ear a little bit so we get more of a, a layered effect with the motion. I feel like layered isn't the right, isn't the right word. Uh, timed? Staggered. Staggered is the word I'm looking for. That's, just, that's it. I'm not sure if I will be cleaning this up or just kind of going with these, with this sketchy look for the final. I'm going to do my best to record as much as possible of what I'm drawing in the future so that I have more of a base of videos to actually pull from to do videos because that's been my problem in the past I have no videos recorded and that does cause problems okay let's go ahead and see how this turned out okay too slow that, those feet are moving so fast Like right, where is it? Right there to there. So I think what I'm gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and erase 
place this foot. And do some in betweening there. Just so we get more gradual. And where's the last time he picked up his foot? That one you can't even see. I think that's fine though, because there is still one more in between for that. So let's do this. Okay, let's just do our last in between and see how this looks. Um, there used to be an in insert row. Has is that no longer a thing? I guess. Oh, insert hold frame. Oh, I see. Okay, haven't worked with this in a while. Can I, can I select all of these and insert a hold frame now? <gasps> they have mirroring finally. Oh my gosh, do you know how long it took me when this first came out to, oh, the animation tools in Krita have gotten better. Okay, sorry, just a little bit of a mini freak out there. Uh, that makes me very happy. Okay. I am using very little space of this gigantic, gigantic canvas here. Okay. Now the problem is when you get to this point and you're having trouble seeing everything, let's go ahead and turn off so we can only see the last and the first and the next. I'm just gonna... This should be the in-between between eyes open and eyes half Close. So I'm actually going to make them mostly open. Just kind of ease into that a little bit. Or ease out of, I suppose. Ease out of that pose. I'm seeing the ears are up here. And they didn't move much in either frame. Pause down here. And it's backside. And there's a, a lot more variation in this tail that I'm happy with, but. Okay. I think it might be on an ad right now. It sounds it sounds very quiet. Yep, there it is. They they abuse the system and whenever they know that I'm not paying attention they give me like a three minute ad and then I have to listen to an ad for three minutes because I'm too busy drawing to actually m switch and change it. Put on music, still sings. Hashtag me. This is where his leg comes up, so we're just going to give him an in-between frame there with a little bit more work on that leg. Oh, what am I doing? That is actually where his leg is coming down. 
Good to know. We're actually going to change that then. Because I don't want this leg to take forever. It took a much smaller step. So we're going to erase that. That's why you pay attention to the color of your onion skin. Because I did not. We're going to erase over here too. Because what I'm having trouble with is these legs. Oof, I did not plan these legs well enough. Well, I guess I didn't plan it all. But, you know. Potato, potato. Okay. Where is that leg going? Oh, right. Red is behind. Green is ahead. That is, that is why I'm having trouble. I am looking at the colors backwards. Seriously, my first animation in months. Really miss this. This is so much fun. a bit there where like the ears don't hardly move at all and I'm wondering wonder if I should mess with that a little bit I'm thinking that's going to cause an awkward pause in the middle of there You know, I was listening to some no copyright music earlier and it was annoyingly familiar and I could not figure out where I'd heard it and then I realized it was the same music they put on every single compilation video on YouTube. You know what I mean? Like, if you've got the best workers or satisfying, satisfying sand compilation videos, they're all gonna have this, this music. <laughs> And I think it's actually the one that's playing right now. Or at least a variation, something similar. I'm gonna still probably mess with OpenTune some, see if I can find a version that doesn't go and crash on me. But that is going to take some time to convince myself to go spend the time to adjust all of the keyboard shortcuts because none of them work not because the keyboard shortcuts don't work but because my keyboard shortcuts in Krita and OpenTunes are different who'd have thunk but that's it's easily a two or three hour job so I won't be animating it probably this week 
Maybe if I can get it up and running, I can do something next week or the week after. One last frame here. That's it. Let's see how this works. Okay, we want to bump it up to 12 because we in between. But okay, that is my kitty. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I'm probably going to go ahead and end it here because my siblings have graciously vacated the living room, but I feel like I should give it back to my family now. Thanks y'all for watching. I'm super excited now that I have a new computer and can actually do this again. I hope to see you guys very frequently. Feel free to comment with any videos you'd like to see in the future. Thanks for watching and don't forget to comment and subscribe.